<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to another exciting episode. I'm your host, T. I'm Tasha. And welcome to the TNT Podcast. <laughs> so today, we are talking about thumbnails. Mm. Because a lot of times, guys, we base these conversations that we're having on the podcast off of questions and comments that we see in our comment section uh, about reactors or reaction channels. And so we can't talk about other reactors, but we can only talk about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And one of those questions was, somebody was saying, uh, why do reactors always have goofy thumbnails? Or why did you, TNT, why do you have... <laughs> silly thumbnails with silly faces and essentially it's to get you to click the video it's your fault right it's your fault <laughs> because the thing be is, us. well well they probably are but the thing well, i mean that we're doing this podcast because we're keeping it real y'all we're telling you what's going on but uh, i mean it's like this which one would you rather prefer or <laughs> Which you one know? you gonna click on? Right, exactly. So that's what it turns into. You know it's what's like, funny, what though? you gonna click on? You, Cause you, you used to get on me about my thumbnails. Cause my thumbnails would be boring as hell. And he, he was like, Tasha, nobody gonna click your thumbnails. And he was right. Right. And the crazy thing is, you don't realize it subconsciously, but something is always catching your attentions, whether it's commercials, right. um, whether it's billboards on the street, it's always about getting uh, your attention. Right. And so in order to do that between thousands of other reactions, um, we want to make it clickable. And what people don't even realize is although they're wondering, oh, why did they do that face? I'm going to ask them or make a comment. You're now engaging with our content when before you probably wouldn't have you, even you have wouldn't done have it. engaged with it at all or right. even liked the video. Right, absolutely. So that's why and, we do and, it. And so <laughs> the thing of it is, is that uh, typically people who are familiar with our channel, if they're subscribed already, uh, they're going to watch our content regardless. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when you are doing a thumbnail, um, you know, you're trying to either attract a, a new viewer. Mm -hmm. or uh, even a, a regular viewer who is just scrolling or whatever. Yeah. But the main thing is is that you want the, that person mm -hmm. to watch your video or right. click on your channel or and click on your video. And it's happening to y'all subconsciously every day without right. y'all not even knowing it on TV, at, uh uh, Everywhere with burger yeah, commercials. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't. Right. It doesn't yeah. matter where you go, whether it's TV, whether it's a grocery store, or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be something that's putting your face in order to get your attention. Yeah. And reaction videos are no different because basically everybody's competing for viewership. Yeah. You know, you want you want the person to click on your video to watch your content mm -hmm. to subscribe and follow you on your channel versus you know going to click on video games or something like that. Okay. So what about when you use the same thumbnails over and over again and it ain't even in the video? <laughs> you know what? Look, we pump out so many videos. A lot of times, you just be tired. Ooh. And I'll just recycle the same thumbnail over you and over again. just change the words on top of it. Yeah, and just put different words on top of it. I mean, that yeah. makes sense because a you get so many requests and then you're editing the video yeah, exactly. and it's like you know what that's a good thumbnail see it, it, what y'all don't understand man this stuff is time consuming <laughs> doing reaction videos is time consuming and so by the time you get done uh reacting and then you're editing your video um and then you upload it to youtube mm -hmm. you're putting in the description the tag and everything mm -hmm. then you're like damn i gotta do a thumbnail too so basically it's just laziness <laughs> well that's yeah that's what it comes down to i mean for for us i don't know about anybody else but just for us I like when you get to because usually the thumbnail is probably like the last part mm -hmm. and you can either clip it out of the video mm -hmm. and then add the text and everything on there yeah. or you can just take a clip of a facial expression that you already have and just add some text like, to that's it a good everything. thumbnail. I think yeah, exactly. That one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so it just cuts down on, on the time. Okay. Yeah, so. Well, that makes sense. You know, you're the king of thumbnails. Me, I'm even lazier. Sometimes I don't even make a thumbnail. I just go upload. <laughs> but <laughs> That's why I don't get no right, views. All right. But, well, but the thing that is, the reality of it is, because a lot of people say, well, why do you guys even do it? Why, why even do it? And the reality is, is that, we see the analytics. We see what's on the back end. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it, it's you know, the, everything about it is correct. Um, thumb, uh, thumbnails, outrageous thumbnails, they get clicks. Uh, they get viewership. Mm -hmm. And e even if the video isn't a good video, people will still click it. 
And even if you what have, what you saying? All our videos, good videos. Well, they, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they are, but but that's the, but that's the other thing too. You could have the greatest oh, video in the world. Man. And nobody, it could be the greatest yep. video, greatest reaction video ever taken or done. And if you don't have a thumbnail that's worthwhile, people mm. will just overlook it. They'll scroll past it and they won't look it. And we've 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 done the experiment and the test and everything. Y'all can do it yourselves. You can check our videos that have thumbnails and the ones that don't. Most matter of mine don't matter have fact, thumbnails. matter of fact, I'll, I'll say it like this: when you're when you're scrolling on YouTube, mm. when you're scrolling on your feed, every single video you see on your feed has, has a, a thumbnail. thumbnail. Yep. Every single one. And yep. you can click on the, uh, even if it's not like reaction video right. or whatever, but if you click on the content creator's uh, videos and you look at his videos, you will see that they probably have mm -hmm. videos with no thumbnails on them. But even the, the, the algorithm, it recognizes videos with no thumbnails and it does not push it. And that goes for the titles as well. You oh, what, what, the title in the... Uh, like, how you title it, because sometimes if you just put the name of the video and then reaction, and then you don't have a thumbnail, because I remember when I first started YouTube, YouTube encourages you to make thumbnails. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, uh, the, because the way that it's, it, it is, it actually can read what's on your thumbnail as well. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so it can, it can read the text that's on there. Oh, it's, I don't it's, put no yeah. text on mine. Right. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, exactly. So, Another so, reason so I don't get no Right. Views. So it's part of this <laughs> discovery as well. Because if you put, hey, Led Zeppelin on your thumbnail yeah. or cool reaction to Led Zeppelin or first time reaction, mm -hmm. it can read that. And so yeah. it puts it into his little database. But also, is uh, YouTube is a search engine. Yeah, exactly. And so. So it takes all of that. It yeah. takes the title, the thumbnail. It takes all of that into consideration mm -hmm. when it's compiling your video on how to organize it. Yeah. Very yeah. interesting. I learned a lot today. But guess what? On my channel, I still ain't gonna do no thumbnails. Oh, <laughs> Y'all can either watch it or you not. <laughs> All right, well, there you have it. So guys, <laughs> hopefully this video has been informative to you and uh, you gain a little bit more knowledge about our process of uh, making videos. But leave your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section, especially if you have a question. If you have a question, you want us to answer it, go ahead and leave it down below in the comment section and uh, maybe we'll do a video on it. Anyway, as always, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.